How about another update on the 90? Um, because things are happening. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, posted before this video was my 150 update on where it's currently at. Um, these guys don't look as full like these guys because I cleaned the power heads. Um, <laughs> they're getting hit with water like they never got hit with water before. And yeah, I didn't realize how dirty them power heads were. Wow, they were bad. Uh, cleaned those yesterday. But, uh, let's see. Come down here. We got a dosing pump. That dosing pump is connected to that container. And then it runs down and it's the white line in the back. The other line, that's my ATO. And as you can see, the ATO res is full over there. I need to put, I need, I need to make a lid for it, man. I've been needing to do that for, oh, 10 years. <laughs> uh, got the skimmer cleaned out. I don't know, that skimmer ain't too happy right now. Let's see here. Eh, it's doing what it needs to do. I don't have a heavy bio load. He is my heavy bio load. And I got her. I've got him. And then I got a rass in the back that just played peekaboo and went away. And then, of course, I got the coral bandage around. That's all the bio load that I have. There he is. Uh, everything's happy. Um, I've been kind of playing. And while I'm talking, I'll kind of throw... I'll try to see if I can remember to throw a uh, overlay here. Basically showing you the code and everything that I used for the dosing pump. Because that is a 1.1 milliliter dosing pump. I calculated it out at my voltage, 120 or 119 volts to 121 volts fluctuates depending on if the AC is on or a hot water heater, whatever. Um, I calculated it at 2.01 to 2.02 milliliters per minute. That is my. Anybody that gets this dosing pump, that you have to cal you have to do the calculation, calibrate it yourself, and run the numbers off of your particular voltage. Because this thing, the higher the voltage, the faster it runs. The lower the voltage, the slower it runs. It's just the way it works. Um, but as you can see, uh, I started out at 43 seconds there in the middle. Uh, I always start at zero on the far left uh, bracket, which is at midnight. How long do you want to wait? Run for how many minutes seconds? Off for how many minutes seconds? So uh, the left one is your delay. The middle one is your run time. The far right one is your off time. Uh, as you can see, I'm at, what am I at, 50, I think. Uh, again, this is an overlay after the fact. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm at 50. And, uh, yeah, I started at 43 seconds. And my alkalinity kept dropping by about 0.3 every day. So I eventually raised it up to that. And I calculated it out and put in enough to get it back up to 9.5. Last night, I checked it. It was 9.6. So we're still, we're in the ballpark. Uh, I may have to adjust that time down to 48, 49, somewhere in that area. Uh, but it's getting much, much closer. So, but anyway, that's, uh, you know, that's the numbers that I have in uh, in Fusion. Or not Fusion. Uh, what is this called? Uh, yeah, Apex Fusion. <laughs> uh, it's been a ride. Uh, so back to the tank. You know, everything, especially the torch, Compared to what he used to be, that torch, he is just absolutely loving life right now. Uh, the Monty, I don't know if I want to put this, if, I don't know if I want to put any money in the 150. It just, this stuff grows so fast. Um, <laughs> the lightning, uh, fire, or I'm sorry, the firework clove polyps, they're, they're happy. They're, they're loving it. You know, and I still haven't cleaned out the sump. Um, I'm thinking about doing a water change today. I've got the water heating, and uh, I need to clean that sump out really bad. But that's, I mean, this takes like on autopilot. You know, just do a water change every now and then, feed the fish so they don't die. Um, yeah, 
people say that saltwater tanks are hard. It's hard when things are going wrong. Like whenever I had four boxes of bad salt. Had no idea what was what was happening. I just knew everything wasn't growing and uh, everything was dying. That's when it's frustrating. Otherwise, <laughs> oh man, that shrimp, dude. Y'all just uh, that shrimp. I love that shrimp. <laughs> I don't want to say the word because I know I know kids uh, kids watch this one. But yeah, uh, Neil, DeGra Neil deGrasse Tyson is what that just reminded me of. He has a particular quote that he said, uh, and I'm not going to repeat it because, again, uh, little ones do watch this. So, but no, uh, again, that's the update. Not really anything going on. This is just kind of an autopilot now. I'm really happy with where it's going, and we're about to get rid of a whole bunch of this hammer once the 150 is ready to accept coral uh, after the cycle because I'm gonna take a whole bunch up to the uh, coral shop and I'm gonna come back home with a whole bunch of different coral. Well, I say a whole bunch. I'm gonna come back with some different coral and we're gonna throw it in 150 and we're gonna see what happens. So anyway, that's the update. It's doing what it needs to do. Fish are swimming around, they're happy. Um, little, little butthead over here, he'll still bite you if you put your hand in the tank and uh, it just kinda is what it is. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.